My name is Crystal Rapier. Um, I work for the Abraham P. Lee Lab at the University of California, Irvine. And I'm a biomedical engineer and a PhD candidate. I'm currently working on uh, bioabsorbable materials that can be implanted into the body. And the end goal with that is uh, to create stents that can go into the arteries in the heart to basically open them up if they've been closed due to plaque formation. I'm creating a new medical device implant material. Our material will hopefully be anti-inflammatory. It will compete with conventional material. The conventional material is metal and you have to remove that if, if, if there's any complications. It stays in you forever. So there's people who do not want that and they just want material that can just do its job and degrade naturally uh, once it's done. I was born in Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. I moved around a lot and I lived mostly East Coast and Midwest. My father is a mechanical and aerospace engineer. My mother started off in entertainment and then she became a school teacher. She's the artist and my dad's more technical. I have always been a, a thinker. I just find science fascinating. I didn't start out with a particular goal in mind to be a scientist when I was younger. I, that's just things that I liked. I just liked hearing about the planets, outer space. I liked hearing about diseases and just how things work. What motivated me to come to this particular lab was HIV and that there was no cure. There's still no cure for it. I always found it fascinating, the virus itself, because it's not living, but it is. It can change and we just can't get a hold on, there, on it to create a cure. So I was always interested in finding a cure for HIV. I had an idea for a possible treatment. When I came to UC Irvine, I saw that they were working on artificial cells and that's exactly what I wanted to do. So I had an aha moment and this is where I need to be. This is another yellow room where we do uh, photolithography. Uh, and that's what we use to etch uh, the designs into our wafers. It's the foundation of our device. Working in lab is not isolating at all. We do a lot of collaborations. We work together. We have our own set project, but sometimes that overlaps and we work together. Or if we have a problem, we can ask another lab mate who may have a solution to that problem. Even though they may have nothing to do with what we're doing, we still work together and, and talk through problems. Right, we'll look at it. If you're considering a career in science, I would say go for it. Especially if you like solving problems if you just like to see how things work, or if you like creating things, if you're very creative, there's room for you in science. I know some people, I guess, hold back or are kind of iffy about it. it they, they'll say, oh, well, I'm not good at math. You know, that's number one excuse people use, but don't use it as an excuse. I, myself, uh, had difficulties in math. I bought a book at Barnes and Nobles just about the math fundamentals, the basics, and I worked through that on my own, at my own pace, and that gave me the courage to pursue higher math courses. So when I got here, I had advanced engineering mathematics, and I'm not a traditional engineer, but I got through it. So I just encourage people to do things like that. If you're a high school student, you don't have to wait until you're in college to actually get into a lab. You can contact labs directly, see what each lab is doing and what sounds interesting to you. Contact that professor or some students in the lab and say that you're interested to actually come have a visit and or possibly work for the lab. That's a great opportunity for you to see if this is what you would like to do. And you can do it now.